Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to the world. Uh, Fort Hays State University, the best school in America is talking now. Uh, my name is Mehran Shahidi. I am the director of English as a second language at Fort Hays State University in Hayes, Kansas. I'm very happy that I'm talking to the world. I'm very happy that my colleagues are sitting next to me and we all gonna let you know what we can do for you as our students, as a part of our community. Uh, to my left is Christopher. Next to Christopher is Karen. Casey, one of our students and the director of international office, uh, Carol Sokolov, is to my far right. Uh, I would like to ask Director Soko to talk about Fort Hayes since she has worked with this school far, far longer than me. Uh, Carol? Yes. Um, greetings and welcome from Fort Hayes State University in Hayes, Kansas, located in the Midwest in the United States. We're very pleased that you can join us this morning for uh, this overview of our university. And as Mayron said in his opening, we really feel like Fort Hayes is a wonderful place for international students to choose to come and to study. Uh, Fort Hayes has an enrollment of approximately 13,000 students total. We have about 4,500 students who are on our campus, and about 400 of those students are international students. And so uh, we are very pleased uh, that those students have chosen Fort Hayes as their second home. And I think the more our presentation goes this morning, you will see that um, most students who come to Fort Hayes feel like it really is a second home to them. We try to provide an environment that is both friendly uh, and very accommodating to international students from no matter where they come from in the world. For students who are interested in applying to Fort Hayes, um, we have some uh, specific deadlines for undergraduate, uh, English as a second language, and if you're interested in coming as a graduate student. Uh, typically for a fall enrollment, the deadline would be June 1, so again that deadline is fast approaching. Um, there is information about how to apply, again, either as a undergraduate ESL student or a, a graduate student on our website. And the website is very easy to navigate. It is www.fhsu.edu. So again, I would encourage you, no matter where you are, to, to check out the website. Oftentimes, uh, students will want to know uh, what are the popular programs that international students are interested in when they come to Fort Hayes. We have a, a variety of programs that students are interested in. Students may be interested in business. Um, they may be interested in information, networking, and telecommunication. They may be interested in maybe education, um, communication, uh, maybe the healthcare field. Uh, I would guess most uh, areas that a student is interested in, we can either provide a, a degree program for that, or in some instances what we would call a pre-professional program. Maybe you want to come to the United States to be a lawyer, or you want to come to be a doctor. We have what we call pre-professional programs that help prepare you to, um, to go on to a, another university where you can complete, it, complete that advanced degree program. Um, we have an, an exceptional uh, geoscience program, biology program, uh, and so again, I, I think no matter what your interest is, um, we can find something that uh, would accommodate you here at Fort Hayes. Again, Fort Hayes is what we call a very affordable university compared to other universities within the United States. We have, um, unfortunately, very limited scholarship opportunities, but we feel the affordability of the tuition and living here in the city of Hayes offsets maybe what, um, what we could provide in the scholarship area. 
So uh, again, within the state of Kansas, we are the most affordable university. And I think that our students who are here probably could attest to that as well. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to the students to, to talk to you about their experience here as a student, uh, both a domestic and an international student. And I think probably you're more interested in hearing from a, a student than those of us who are in the administrative role. <laughs> um, I've had a great experience here at Fort Hayes and being a American student here I have met and become great friends with a lot of international students. I work at the Writing Center where we help students who struggle with writing and um, what we work with a lot of is international students which helped me to learn or to get to know many and I actually ended up going on spring break to a trip throughout the Southwest with a group of international students and we had a great time. But I think it's a great experience and it is a good way to meet other American students. And I'm not sure. What about your class sizes and your teacher interaction? Um, our class sizes are small but not too small. It's what I grew up with in my high school. Um, maybe 20 to 20 to 30 students per classroom and I know a lot of my teachers quite well and I just got out of a meeting a few minutes ago with one of my teachers and any questions that I have they're very more than willing to answer any of them and I actually have become close with some of my teachers too as a like a good relationship with them. And what, what, what are your plans this summer? Um, I'm traveling I was given a trip to China, and I'm going to spend oh. a month in Zios University, yeah. which I'm very excited for. Um, Two forces have given you this opportunity mm -hmm. as well, there. Very, yes, they have. And I have also traveled to Italy as a semester abroad, and that was a great experience. So Fort Hayes seems very internationally surrounded, or I'm not sure, centered. Right. Uh, the, the motto or uh, what we would call maybe a, a tagline for Fort Hayes is forward thinking, world ready. Uh, and again, I think as Casey has uh, explained, um, it, it, Fort Hayes has afforded her the ability to not only interact with international students here, but to actually experience other parts of the world as a student at, at Fort Hayes. Um, again, our, our faculty are extremely friendly. Um, they are someone who will help you through your educational journey uh, and are, are people that you should feel very at ease with when it comes to asking questions. Again, the class sizes are very small, so you'll get to know your classmates as well as the teachers. It's not a typical environment where you may come to class, the teacher speaks to you, the teacher leaves, and you come to the next class period. The teacher will be very engaged with you. They want to get to know you, and they want you to interact with the class. So, so Christoph, what's your perspective? Um, my perspective about it is a bit different. I think I'm going to relate a bit more to the, the people watching the presentation because I'm an international student. I'm uh, at the moment working for the Center for Language and Culture, which is um, an office for internationalization on campus. And, uh, and I'm finishing my master's degree in, uh, in ESOL. Uh, in ESOL. Do you know what ESOL is? Uh, hmm? ESOL for the people. ESOL, English uh, for speakers of other languages. So, uh, so to teach English for people that are not English. Uh, what, what nationality are you? So I'm from France. Uh, I'm from oh. France. I'm from Paris. I was born and raised in Paris and I started to travel for the studies about four years ago now. Four, yes, four years ago now, uh, and I studied in the United States, in France, in Australia, and, uh, and I did a few universities in the world uh, at the end of my bachelor, um, at the end of my bachelor, and to start my master, and Four Hays is, is by far the, the, the place where I felt the best. Um, what, Casey was, what Casey was saying is, uh, is really interesting because, yes, the, this university has something special about the faculty, something special about the, the environment, um, yes, it's the Midwest, and uh, and yes, it's the Midwest, and a lot of people think this this um, location is not quite attractive, but uh, but the international student communities got a mo uh, has their own motto for this, and the Midwest is often when we we cry when we arrive, but we often cry when we leave, uh, because people here are so nice, and uh, you feel so welcomed here, uh, in terms of 
being a foreigner in terms of just being an international uh, an international student or just being a student you feel so welcome here that it's it's just something that seemed too good to be true but it's just it's just the, the reality the, the common reality um i uh I would like to insist on the fact that here the environment with the faculty is, is something very, very different from other universities. That's the first university where my teachers called me by my name and they knew me. Um, I, did, I did four different universities in the, in the past four years, and uh, I mean in, in the past, uh, the past uh, four years traveling. And yeah, that's by far the place where I felt the best, at least for my classes. You know, the number of students is really, uh, the number of students or the ratio um, faculty per student is really, really interesting for us. And, uh, and we feel like we have, re um, we have a very, very uh, personalized, tailored fit, um, tailored fit um, education, education, which is something that, that I definitely like, especially, uh, especially when you go toward the, master, the master's degree and it's a bit more specialized, that's something that you want is uh is be uh, not just be another face in the crowd but be you know be considered for for yourself and you as an individual and that's something that i found here that was really really good uh faculty are always available some of them even give their cell phone number which was something i didn't know was possible mm -hmm. uh and uh yeah it's it's really uh it's it's a really really pleasant uh isn't a place to work. I never believe I would say I would enjoy studying, but <laughs> but at Poirier State University, yes, I do. I enjoy studying here. It's a great place to study, great place to live, a uh, great place to emancipate as an international as a, or, uh, or simply as a domestic student. I would say Christoph has been extremely active on campus. He um, is involved with, again, both the international students, the domestic students. He, he works very well with faculty and offices. He is being a bit modest in that he actually leads a number of our uh, international study trips for uh, domestic students. So he, he has taken full advantage of, of the ability to, um, to work with a mentor in the modern language program, to develop programs, and um, the ability to not only plan but then to execute a program. A lot of campuses, you may not have the opportunity to, to form an idea, bring it to fruition, and then actually implement it. And again, I think that is a very unique thing about the university that allows students to, to grow and um, develop skills that once they graduate, they will be able to take forward in their next job, career, and their life. That's definitely true. As an international, um, here is the only he, here is the university where I had the least problems. You know, <clears throat> when you're an international, it's always a bit delicate because you have some visa trouble, uh, because you have plenty of questions. Is it possible for you to do this? Is it possible for you to do that? Um, can you can you travel? Uh, might, might you have you might have some problem with insurance and and here is here is the place where um, where I felt the most at ease with it. Um, I'm not. I'm not very. Um, I'm not very friendly uh, with uh, with administrative paper, and uh, and so usually for me it's always a daunting task. And here is the university where the service the service was the best. Simply, I mean, you just come here and people take care of you, and you have clear explanation of what you're supposed to do. If you have a problem, you always have someone to talk, even if it's not office hours. Uh, there's an emergency line if you have a problem. I mean, here you just treat it. Yeah, you just. You just have a very good. Uh, we have a very good customer service. Uh, we have a very good, uh, very good service in general. Anyway, I mean, we're taking care of you from the moment where you think about coming here to the moment where you're gonna die. Because since uh, since you come, if you if you decide to come here, you'll be a part of the Tiger family for the rest of your life. So, so I don't believe that a lot of other places, uh, a lot of a lot of other places, make you part of their family. Like like we would make you a part of our family. So I strongly recommend that, that you consider us and, uh, and if you're an international student, which you might be, uh, you won't be disappointed by the service, I can guarantee you. One of the questions oftentimes students after you know, coming and their degree program is, where will I live and what is the Hayes community like? And so maybe Karen, you could talk about what housing options are available. Sure. Yeah, we really encourage international students to live on campus their first semester or year that they're here. And I believe, Christoph, you lived 
on campus. I did. Um, and it's really great, especially many international students do not drive, so you can um, live and stay on campus and be close to your classes and close to the library. We have both apartment style uh, residence halls and then also more traditional um, residence hall rooms where you would have a roommate. We have cafeterias and eating facilities on campus, so you won't go hungry while you're here. Um, and we do offer many different dining options. We even have a Starbucks on our campus. And Christoph, I don't know if you can see this, he has a Starbucks with him <laughs> today. So for being in the, the middle of Kansas, we do have some big city amenities as well. We do offer then off-campus living mm -hmm. uh, for international students as well. There are many different um, apartments um, off-campus that you can rent as an international student, and, and typically students may do that after they've been here a year or two. As far as the community of Hayes, um, Christoph uh, has mentioned that it is a very friendly and welcoming community. A lot of the community members get involved with international students. We do have a friendship family program. We encourage international students to participate in and they will be matched with an American family or um, a single person in Hayes and they have a friendship. Uh, the American family may take them to Walmart, cook them dinner, invite them over for holidays, and just be a mentor and a family to our international students who are so far away from their families. We also have a community connections program where community members will meet international students two or three times a semester. They'll share a meal, maybe do some cultural activities together. Um, so our community members are very welcoming and friendly to international students. And um, I think one of the, the uh, surprises international students have are they come to campus and in our community and uh, the community members are telling them hello and asking them where they're from. And so that's surprising for our international students. Being a smaller community, we have uh, limited public transportation, but we do have what's called Tiger Transport, which um, picks students up from campus and takes them to the mall and to Walmart. It's a free service that runs three days a week. And um, for our international students who oftentimes do not have their own transportation, it's an opportunity, again, for them to get off campus, get the supplies they need, and to, um, you know, maybe eat at the, uh, the restaurant in the mall or there's a little uh, place in, in Walmart, uh, a sandwich place that they can go to. But it really provides them an opportunity to, to get the things they need. Again, Hayes is, uh, even though it's 20,000, um, is a relatively small community and that a lot of students will walk to our downtown area. We have a, a lot of arts and so there often are gallery walks or different activities that go on in our uh, kind of our heart of our community and it's extremely close to campus so students uh, feel they can walk and the nice thing about being able to walk is that it's very safe. The Hayes community and the campus community is extremely safe and um, oftentimes if students are walking it's not uncommon for a someone from the community to stop to ask them can I give you a ride back to campus can I help you find something so again it's a very a very welcoming community and uh, one that again I think it's very easy to, um, to to feel like you're a part of if you choose to come to campus uh. I'd like to talk about English as a second language program at Florida State University. This program started in uh, fall 2007, and uh, we started with two students at the moment. Uh, it's about, we can say, 150 this year, we had students. Uh, the program has got five levels, so we start from zero beginners all the way through the advanced English. Our last three levels are pretty academic. We try to prepare students to be ready for academic classroom and academic research writing. Uh, the first two levels we mostly emphasize on general English so the students can gain enough knowledge of being able to advance their level of proficiency to uh, kind of a professional English in different fields of studies. Uh, ESL family is a small part of Forte's family, and I'm proud to be uh, in, this, in both families, and I try my best 
for my students. I myself been teaching. I teach lots of hours and I enjoy teaching to the students. And I enjoy giving the information that I have learned myself since this language is not my native language at the same time. I used to be a student at an ESL program 30 some years ago in, the, in, in, in Utah. So I know how you feel when you come to uh, United States with the language and different cultures. For today's ESL program, we try to help the best in order to uh, make you adjust to this culture and learning the language. We've got students from many, many nations. How many nations are at the school? 32 nations. We have got even maybe one or two of each, but my, the, the uh, highest number of uh, the country that we have here is, is Chinese. Uh, we have Chinese students from different parts of the uh, huge, great country of China. We have Koreans, we have Saudis, uh, we have even a student from Jordan, all over the world. And they are really, really welcomed here. I and mean, in ESL program, the class sizes are pretty small. I am teaching a class this, this term that I have got seven students. And it's a kind of a private teaching, all levels of uh, English that we teach, listening, speaking, reading, writing is almost one-on-one -on -one basis. So uh, when we are given a conditional uh, I-20 letter of acceptance to come to Fort Aid, after completing the ESL program, you can uh, continue your education with full confidence. And still ESL is there, and Writing Center, as just, Cassie just mentioned, we are here to help you out to come to the far most level of advancement in academic learning. The point is, why are we going to school? To be able to finish it with the best degree and with the best knowledge to be able to uh, utilize it with our daily work and being able to get a good job. And this competitive market, you should think where to get all this knowledge to be able to compete with people in this global life. So Fort Hayes is going to give you global knowledge in all different aspects of life, no matter it's, it's academic or social activities. Uh, so. I know one of the questions was related to scholarship, and, and previously I mentioned that we um, have very few scholarships, so there may be some departmental scholarships that students could apply for. Um, so it's difficult for, for me to, to be very specific what may or may not be available. But again, there, there are some scholarships. A lot of our international students will work on campus. There is the opportunity to, to do that as an international student. Um, students are only allowed to work 20 hours a week because again, uh, as an international student, you're here to be a student and we don't want work to interfere with that. But we do understand that oftentimes students come to work because they want to help their families kind of uh, with some of the costs that they are paying when they come to the United States to study. There are some uh, major programs that require or may recommend a student do an internship as part of the program, and maybe that internship is off campus. We work with students or assist them with um, what's called curricular practical training that actually allows them, if the internship is willing to pay them, to be able to do that legally. Uh, also, when students complete their degrees, there's what's called optional practical training, which allows a student to work for at least a year in the United States um, and get experience before they return home. So there, there are some opportunities for students to not only have personal finances they bring, there may be some scholarship money available, but there also would be some opportunities for students, if they wanted to, to work on campus as well to help kind of fund their um, education while they're here. So. Um, one, one thing that, uh, that I, want, I want to get back on, um, I want to get back quickly on what um, Mehran said about the ESL program, is, um, is one, one thing I think would, uh, would, would, is necessary to be understood is that you don't come here only to, uh, to study ESL. We are talking a bit, a bit ago about this customer service, and you don't come here only to study ESL. Um, we understand that 
your interests are far, far more than just the knowledge of English and that the knowledge of, of English is going to be the key for something else. And, uh, and what, what was really interested in what Melan said, I, I think, is um, you're here, you're not here to learn English only. You're here to learn English and to be prepared for something that is much bigger than this, uh, which, is which is regarding your future. Um, there's, a <clears throat> there's things that you know, we can say about Forhey State University, and there are, there are also numbers. Um, Forhey State University is the fastest university growing in Kansas, fastest growing university in Kansas. So things, certain number of things have not to be, have not to be proven here. We're, we're a very good university, and uh, and I don't mean to be arrogant or pretentious, but that's that's the case. I mean it's it's been proven. We're just the fastest growing university in Kansas, and it's not by luck. And um, and so what Meran said, which was really interesting, is that you we understand also as an international student that there is a need for you in order to get um, an education from an American university that you need to learn English. But here it's not only learning English, it's learning English towards an, a different purpose, which is getting a degree from an American university. And, and in this case, getting a degree from a great American university. Um, for a state, obviously, uh, for a state university is. Um, has a very good ESL program. We get a lot of students that go through our program, and most of them, uh, if not all of them, keep on uh, pursuing their degree at our university. On the top of this, we have a certain number of, uh, of other international students that come just to study at our university with doing different ESL programs before in Virginia or in Georgia or in, in different states, which kind of proves, uh, proves the point that um, Fort Hayes State is not only a good university for, for international students, it's also a good university for, for ESL students. And for the ESL student that transfer from the ESL program to the regular, uh, regular curriculum, it's, a, it's, it's an outstanding, uh, outstanding uh, statistic to know that you know, we're preparing them the best they can and we're preparing them the best they can towards a degree that, well, we know of and, uh, and, uh, and towards a great future. I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's an interesting point to see that. We had something I just, uh, to support what he has just said, Christopher said, uh, the name of the ESL program that we accept their uh, certificate is on our website. So they can, you can go there and see what tests and what universe, what, what uh, ESL program that we accept the certificate in order to start academic class at four days. I just want to mention that. We, we really feel like we, we want students to come and be students, but there's also a balance between being a student and actually experiencing American life and culture. And that's why it's very important that students not just study all the time. Um, Mehran, sorry. Uh, right. You know, we, we really believe that students need to be involved in student organizations and in, in, in activities on campus because it helps you to build yeah. confidence in your English skills. It helps you to build leadership uh, skills. It helps you to interact with a variety of different people so that you can build teamwork skills critical thinking skills, again, all of the skills that you will want to take when you finish your complete degree and uh, using your career. Uh, we know when students come, they're very overwhelmed. It's a new place, it's a new language, it's a new food, it's a new environment. And so we, uh, a few semesters ago, implemented what we call an international seminar class, which is an eight-week course which um, really helps international students acclimate to the American classroom. It talks about the difference between maybe an American classroom and a classroom you come from and how to navigate that. Uh, it talks about all of the services and help that's available on campus for students. We spend time talking about American culture. We talk about culture, holidays, and activities specific to Hayes in this region, but also to the U.S. in general. Because we found that international students are very curious. Uh, they want to learn about American language. They want to learn about culture. They want to learn about the whole American experience. And quite honestly, we want students to get the, an American experience that's accurate and not one that's media portrayed. So that's why we really feel like students interacting on campus with faculty and also the class really get a full um, and accurate view of what it's like to be a student and to live in America. The nice thing about the class is it's free. It doesn't cost students anything but their time to come. 
that's how passionate we feel about wanting students to, to be successful and acclimate to the university uh, culture is that we want to provide that um, class for them at no cost. Karen, do you want to talk about friends and family program that we have? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but we do um, offer a friendship family program where we match international students with a, a family in the Hayes community. Sometimes it is um, a family that has young children. Sometimes it's an older family who their children may have moved away. And so they have time to, to dedicate to international students, inviting them over to their house for meals, driving international students out to Walmart to help them buy supplies, for their uh, residence hall rooms. A lot of the American families will have their international students over for American holidays. A good example is Halloween. Many friendship family uh, families will have their international students come to their house so that the international students can, um, can hand out candy to the trick-or-treaters and partake in some of those American cultural experiences. If international students sit today over Thanksgiving, our community hosts a Thanksgiving dinner that we encourage international students to go to, to have a Thanksgiving meal with their friends in Hayes. And so we're really encouraging the international students to get out into the community and to meet others and again, to have a broader experience than just studying. Um, our office, International Student Services, and the Center for Language and Culture also provide um, excursions and programming for international students to support learning about some of those American cultures and about America and getting students out of the library and um, having a good experience. So Chris, do you want to talk about some of the programming from the center? Um, yes, we, uh, we, actually work, uh, we actually work with different offices hand in hand with the Center for Student Involvement and the <clears throat> International Student Service Office um, towards making the, the life, the life, exp I mean the, the experience on campus of the international student much better than that uh, than it would be in any other university. So we're, uh, as Carol said, we have a class, uh, we have a class that is designed especially for you um, to uh, to put a cushion. I would say I, I don't really, really know how to say it properly, but to. Um, put a cushion on your uh, cultural shock uh, when you're gonna arrive here so that, uh, so that you can easily, uh, you, it's, you're like you eased into, uh, into being a part of this American culture because at the beginning it's, it's a daunting task, it's very overwhelming, different language, different, uh, different beliefs, uh, different norms, different values, uh, it's, just, it's just very, very overwhelming at the beginning and this class is designed especially for international students for not to suffer too much uh, not to suffer too much uh, of, uh, of this cultural shock. And there's something that is, um, or in my experience, is exclusive here. We did, I, I had, not, uh, had none of those uh, programs proposed in any of the universities I attended. Uh, also, uh, we understand that once you pass that point and you're just a student, we, um, that's something that, uh, that Carol said earlier, is we, you're not just a student here. We're not developing you to be a forward-thinking, world-ready student. We're developing you to be a forward-thinking, world-ready person. And, uh, and we understood, we understand that, you know, there's a certain amount of time that is supposed to be spent in the classroom and in the library, but, uh, but there's also a certain amount of time that is supposed to be spent somewhere else, and this somewhere else is in the United States, you know, it's to understand the culture, to understand the, the, the country, to understand how to live in a different country, you know, it's something that you, you have to experience for yourself, and that's something that all our, all our offices are working, to, uh, are working towards that goal, you know, we're organizing a cultural excursion for you to be able to understand uh, rural America, so it's it's local excursion. Sometimes we go out of state. Uh, we're looking to provide you events where you'll be able to network with American students outside of the classroom. Maybe share about your culture, um, share about your religion. You might be Muslim, you might be Jewish, uh, you might be Buddhist. You want to share about your religion with uh, with here. A lot of people are Catholic. You want to share uh, about your religion with Catholic people. Here we have some amazing workshop and amazing opportunities to network with people. And usually people are very, very open-minded if you make a step toward them. And, and so here we just really value the fact that, we just really value the fact that you're just, yeah, you, you, need, you need to learn, you need to learn something. You're here to come and study, you're here to come and learn English, but there's so much more than this. And we're, um, we're glad to propose a service where we take a step back and look at the big pictures and understand 
um, what are uh, understand what are really the challenges of the international of being an international student and what are really the the outcomes that you would love as an inter you would like as an international student. Um, our staff our staff is uh, is composed by a lot of international people and uh, and by a lot of domestic people as well who knows uh, who knows sorry who know um, what is it to live in rural America. Most of them uh, were born and raised around here. Some other come from bigger city and, and all of them have in, have in common this passion for international education and, uh, and a lot of international experience. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really know, I'm completely biased, but I don't really know if you can find a better staff somewhere else in the country. Uh, a staff of people that really care about you as a, as a person, but not only as a student, and a staff of competent people uh, doing it. So, uh, so yeah. I'm going to shift gears a little bit there. There's a question regarding graduate school and programs and what type of, again, assistance there might be. Um, there, depending on a major area that a student may apply and be admitted into the graduate school, departments have what are called graduate assistant positions, which again, uh, Christoph is in a graduate assistant position. And one of the advantages of a, a graduate assistant position is the student is given a stipend. Um, for their whatever the activity is they're assigned within that department and also as an international student um, you pay in-state tuition uh, so there is a, a, a financial benefit to that there are some uh, what are called GTA positions where the department may actually provide uh, and pay for some of the coursework that the graduate student is taking. So to, to find out more about those specific graduate opportunities in regards to a graduate assistantship, a graduate teaching assistantship, I would encourage you to, to check out the, um, the graduate school webpage. There is also uh, what's called the Rotary Scholarship, which is designed for graduate international students. And typically, um, uh, international students will apply for that scholarship uh, and the Rotary will interview those students and depending on a criteria that they establish will actually give awards for uh, financial awards to, to international students. We um, have two students who uh, received the uh, scholarship for the fall semester and this past year we had three international students. So uh, again, uh, another opportunity for a community-based scholarship that is only available to graduate students. Oftentimes scholarships are targeted toward undergraduate students, but uh, this scholarship is for graduate students. And again, uh, for students who are qualified and receive a graduate assistantship, I think it's a very good opportunity for them both financially and educationally. Hey, Carol, do you want to talk about the attraction attractive places that we have in Hayes that students can go at weekends or the closest cities to? Um, well, I can speak, you know, the students may have a, a different idea, but again, oftentimes um, we want to encourage students to get involved and out into the community. Um, there are a lot of student uh, activities that go on on campus through our University Activities Board, and that's their whole job and focus is to provide activities for students. Um, we have a large intercollegiate athletic program where um, students can attend uh, American football, uh, they can attend soccer, we have men and women's soccer inter at the intercollegiate level, we have volleyball, we have track and field, cross country, um, we have basketball. Um, basketball, yes, and in most of our intercollegiate sports we actually have international athletes. So it's not uncommon for us, to, we have a Croatian basketball player on the men's team, we have a girl from Poland who's on the women's team. Jamaica. We have sprint, yeah, Jamaica, sprinter. Jamaica. 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 sprinter, yes. Um, we have Canadian baseball players. So again, we, we are having a, a young lady from Turkey who will be on Coming. the volleyball team in the fall. Yeah. So again, uh, there are a lot of opportunities to not only uh, go and watch, um, but, you know, depending on your ability, uh, you, you may have an opportunity to, to participate. We have a, a very large what's called intramural program where mm -hmm. students can, um, can play badminton, volleyball, basketball, or if they're not uh, athletically inclined or don't like athletics, they have a lot of other activities such as an, an Easter egg hunt or maybe a poker tournament or different things that don't necessarily require you 
to have any athletic ability, but just the um, interest in learning about, um, again, an American sport or an American activity where you can interact with other uh, American students. In the community, I think I mentioned earlier, we have a very extensive um, and, and a lot of talented artists. We have a, an extremely um, uh, good art department on our campus where um, majors who are in graphic design or even in drawing and, and, and other mediums um, get very good jobs at large um, corporations like Leo Burnett. Um, and so again, the, the art department is, is highly regarded throughout the United States. But there's also a lot of local artists who have studios in our downtown area. So again, um, several times a semester, there's what we call an art walk. And it's a big activity where not only the campus, but the Hayes community comes together and uh, just looks at the different artists' works. And it's, it's a great opportunity, again, to interact with uh, the Hayes community. We have a performing arts series called the Encore that brings Broadway productions into to the university which um, quite honestly for students are extremely affordable because as a student you pay for maybe forty dollars for a ticket price and it allows you to go to all of the performing arts series where if you were to go to the city maybe one ticket price would be forty or fifty dollars you get to see all eight or nine performances for that one ticket price so uh, again there there are a lot of things locally you can do um, there is, again, 90 minutes from Hayes is a, a zoo, an outdoor zoo. Um, uh, again, there's just a lot of cultural things that um, you may have to drive a little bit to do, but um, are very reasonable in regards to time and cost to actually participate and go to the Golf and... Oh, yeah. Oh. Frisbee golf is very popular here. And again, there is a, a very extensive Frisbee golf course, which is very close to campus that students can, can go to. We have a, a rodeo that um, is held every spring that's very close to campus. Um, there is stock car racing that is, again, uh, held just very close to the Hayes community. So uh, a lot of... Oh, bowling. Yeah, bowling, bowling softball, 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 yeah, softball, yeah. Softball. So That's again, uh, you will not get bored if you you choose to want to get involved <laughs> in something. Um, uh, Amina, I'm gonna answer your question. Uh, do we offer cultural question, do cultural exchange program? Um, yes, we do. This is uh, what uh, what Carol uh, what Carol was talking about earlier. Um, we definitely uh, understand you uh, the, the value of uh, you coming in the United States as an international student, and we're trying to make you uh, we're trying to make you uh, emancipate as much as you can. You know, we're here for for you to get the, the best emancipation you can get, and we understand that it's really important for you to network with uh, with American students. So we're we're guaranteeing you to, to put you in the best uh, in the best conditions for that. Uh, we're organizing events <laughs> such as potlucks or. Um, are just simply networking events where you can just meet uh, meet interna um, uh, other international students, but especially domestic students, to understand a lot about the culture. I, I hope I, I covered your question. Uh, after, there's another question from Anastasia uh, that is directly for, uh, for Carol and Karen, and she wants to know how many international students did we have last year? Last year we had over 400 international students from about 32 different countries. 400? 400. So it represents basically uh, around a, a bit less than 10% of the population. So one student here on campus out of 10 is an international student. Mm -hmm. Yes. 32 country and 400 international students. That's a that's quite a that's quite a huge program. And and I, and I think too to go back to Christoph's answer of the the cultural exchange. Um, you know, he, on one of the trips he led last year, he actually had an international student who participated on the exchange program or the travel abroad program. So again, it's, it's not only for American students to take advantage of that. All, most all trips are available to international students. Um, we have a lot of service learning trips that um, the university sponsors, and again, it, it's not uncommon for international students to, to go to Louisiana or to places to do service learning and to actually do community service, um, not only here locally, but out at other places in the United States that maybe 
were affected by a natural disaster or, or some type of an event that requires volunteerism? Mm -hmm. I, um, I did um, more Oklahoma last summer. Uh, more is a town, uh, is, is, um, more is a city, no, it's not a town, it's a city. More is a city uh, six hours from here, six hours south from here, and they've been hit by two tornadoes back to back, and I got a chance to go on the, on the, sur on the service trip to, uh, on the service trip for the tornado relief. Um, it was very good, it was very good. As Carol said, you know, you have, you have plenty of opportunities here to, uh, to get a chance to immerse yourself culturally. Uh, but you also have to understand one point is that we don't we don't come and knock at your door and say hey you need to get you, you need you know to get involved with American student is is the yoga weepy philosophy and you know you will only get out of your experience at Fort Hay State University what you will put in uh, the only thing we do better than other universities is that we just provide you with so many opportunities uh, to do so that you know at some point is you. you at some point, you will feel the need to uh, to branch out and meet those uh, those American students. That's why I value so much uh, the, the, this university because, you know, in some other universities, if you don't want to get involved, you don't get involved, and you can you can just get by like a cork in the stream. But uh, but here, at some point, you will uh, at some point you will be provided with an opportunity that will interest you not only as an international student but just as a person. And for example, I like volunteering, and uh, I like volunteering, and maybe you know I didn't I didn't really think about the fact that I would network with other domestic students, but I just thought about the fact that I just wanted to help people, and and so because of this, because this opportunity touched me as a person before touching me as an international student, I got a chance to network. But as I said, you know, it, it depends it depends on your attitude as you come here, but. But if you if you if you choose for Hay State University, you always show that you have a good attitude about about your education and about your your international education. So, not too worried about it. I think building off of what he said, from an American student perspective, we're a small enough school, and we have so many international students that, as an American student here, it's almost common, like normal, to meet an international student just in classes, or it just it doesn't seem that strange to us by the time. They're my, like I'm a junior now. And I've just, through that common just contact, I've become quite close friends with a lot of them. And just over the past two weeks, I've gone to an international friend's house and they've given me traditional Chinese food. And then I've had a group of friends come over to my house and I've taught them how to make pancakes, mm. which it's a fun experience. But also I think this, has to do with outside of school once you graduate. I've had friends invite me to their home country and I've invited them to my home after graduation. So I think this is something that continues on beyond school even. It kind of affects you for your whole life. Again, I think it goes back to that whole forward thinking world ready concept that we want you to feel connected to the university not only while you're here, but once you graduate and go out into the world, we want to know what you're doing. We want to know how um, Fort Hayes has impacted that on your lives. And again, uh, we hope and we are confident that the experience you, you get here will help you to be a, a global citizen because the world is, is very small, even though it may not seem that way. Um, you know, we all, we all, everything we do affects each other, and so I think we need to have that understanding uh, of each other's cultures and ideas, and quite honestly, to have those friendships, because I think that's what really drives uh, humanity forward, is the ability to understand not only similarities, but differences when it comes to, to worldviews and education, and education is where it starts. I'd like to talk about the motto that we have, high, top, high tech, high touch. Uh, computer is one of the most important apparatus in this campus. All over the campus you can use your computer. Uh, it's at the Wi-Fi, the campus is a Wi-Fi campus. Classrooms are all highly mediated with the latest technology of technology of computer technology, latest actually, all classroom we have that. And the high touch that we have is the care and the love we have towards our students. And the, the community has got the same feeling through the, uh, their heart with the students at Fort Hayes State. And we would like you to feel home when you come to this, to this school as all the students here, they have the same feeling. 
the two examples is these two individuals who are sitting next to me. They really feel comfortable, and we do everything that we can do to make you happy in this city. So I guess in, in closing, again, we, we hope that we have given you a, a glimpse into what life at Florida State University and Hayes might be. Um, if you have uh, questions, we certainly encourage you to, to go to our website, which is www.fhsu.edu. If you have questions after we sign off, you can certainly email us at international at fhsu.edu and we'll be happy to answer any additional questions that you might have or if we can't answer them if there's program specific we will direct you to someone who can answer those questions so again thank you for joining us and uh, have a great rest of your day thank you